Here's the thing about social class. Nobody really knows exactly where they fall on the scale. It's pretty confusing. So we know that we have poor people and rich people. Those are kind of words that we throw around all the time. But what does that exactly mean? What makes someone rich and what makes someone poor? Those numbers where those cutoff lines are are probably way different from what you think they are. One of the things that I found really interesting in some of my research on well-being over the last year is finding out how much money it takes for someone to be happy and at what cutoff you know, level, like how much money do you have to make to be the happiest? Most American families report that at about the $150,000 mark is when they start feeling like, okay, we're able to pay our bills, we're able to experience new things, you know, we're able to afford our food, our children's school needs, and so on. $150,000. That's quite different from what someone would think of as like a living wage, which would be much less than that. So that's something to think about when we're talking about economic inequality is not just what they can buy, but emotionally, intellectually, what that money can afford them in terms of their own well-being. Sure, you can be happy at, you know, no matter how much money you have. Even if I am down here on the socioeconomic status and there's other people up here, they don't have to be happier than me necessarily, right? But it is a lot easier to get through life when you have plenty of money to buy the things that you want and need. So this in income inequality, um, socioeconomic inequality that we have in the US means that some people make not even enough to survive and other people make billions and billions and billions of dollars. And what determines who ends up where? How can we know if someone's gonna end up on the lower end of the socioeconomic status or at the top. You will learn that although we consider ourselves a meritocracy, a society that you know you get ahead based on hard work, um, there's, some, uh, there's some question about that because the greatest indicator of the social class that you're going to end up in as an adult is the social class that your parents were in. As we're moving through this week and looking at these different social classes, you're probably gonna have some, some struggles figuring out where you fit exactly. Um, and that's okay. You know, we don't have to, for the purposes of this, really be 100% certain where we fit. It's more to get an idea of the complexities and the ideas and the American values surrounding socioeconomic inequality and, it's, and it's how it's maintained in the U.S.